But what I wanted to show you guys is this oil fill plug. As you could see, it's not coming out of there right now, okay? It's really stuck in there. So some of you guys might think, huh, only the dealer could get to it, or some of you might know exactly what's going on, but it's uh, being held in by this little red piece. So you could either try to stick something underneath. I'm sticking my nail underneath, and you could see it's already moving, this little red piece. Um, but you're gonna need to just have a screwdriver or, you know, something thin, and just push it out. Um, so I'm not gonna be actually removing it right now. There's just no need. Um, it's obviously a transmission fill tube. Uh, what you're gonna need to do is um, just get yourself a regular, trans like uh, not even a transmission type of fill um, jug like, like they sell in the store because you don't need it. Your transmission fill tube is right here. So you're gonna need a small funnel, um, just enough, you know, to where you could stick it in like nicely, like in a pipe where it's not gonna fall out on you. And um, as you're trying to add transmission fluid and you drain that out of torque converter you drain that out of the whole transmission like there's no oil in there at all um, of course there's always going to be some remains of oil like transmission uh, transmission lines um, there might still be some in the valve body if you haven't removed the valve body and there's just a lot of places for the oil to hide a typical transmission will hold like about like a nine and a half quarts of oil um, but usually if you're replacing you could do about eight and a half to nine quarts i know sometimes people may say if you're gonna put like um overfill it it's gonna do something crazy not really if you're gonna put like uh, nine quarts in here and um you know you put too much um it's just gonna find its way out of there um, and it's going to find the weakest portion uh where to push this oil out and it can do a little damage okay it can do a little damage i will you know be honest but it's not it's not extensive damage and uh, what you you gonna and you could actually check if it actually did or not so here's where the oil is gonna come out if you're gonna overfill it um, if you're gonna overfill it it's gonna come out at the end of the dipstick um, you know this this transmission fill uh, tube that's going inside of the transmission it's gonna actually come out through the top of that it's going to push it out uh, any access and if you're uh, 13 pin connector hasn't been changed in a while and it's got a bad seal over there what it's gonna do it's gonna find its way through the transmission um, through the 13 pin connector seal it's going to find its way to the wires and then yeah some nasty things could happen I mean it could really push your fluids up the wires and I, I know this sounds crazy but it's gonna push it up the wires all the way up to your seat where you're sitting on the driver's seat and that's where your transmission module is located and it's actually going to cause your transmission module to get wet with fluid. You're probably going to wonder how it ever got there. Um, but it's going to cause some problems. It's going to basically cause your transmission to go into limp mode. And that's one of the issues usually you'll find. Your transmission goes into limp mode. You're thinking, okay, what's up? Is it my uh, speed sensor, conductor plate, uh, you know, that's being dirty? Or it could just be that, um, that module being bad. And the solution to the problem, I mean, if, if it's the module, I mean, if it still hasn't burned it out, just clean your module up. I, I would recommend you replace the wiring because, I mean, you know, you got fluid in there. Most likely it's going to, again, cause some problems, which that could be a job in itself, replacing the wiring. I mean, it could, it could suck. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to be that difficult, but still, you're going to have to get the wires and, you know, run them through. But whenever your transmission a module is dirty with oil, you're going to need to replace a 13-pin connector, uh, which is located on the side of the, engine, side of the transmission. It's that little plastic piece. I actually recommend replacing it on every oil change. It's a piece that costs between $7 and $13, depends on what dealer wants to, you know, how much they want to charge. Um, I've seen them at both prices. Both prices, it could still be reasonable if it's going to save you um, a transmission module and some problems along the way. So just always replace that. Always replace your transmission um, oil pan for the transmission seal. Um, you know, and of course your filter uh, when you're doing it. And always drain your transmission fluids um, and uh, out of the torque converter and out of the actual transmission. So what I wanted to kind of get to is why I actually got this hood open. So you're getting ready to fill your transmission fluid and you don't have to pump it in there and stuff. Make sure your vehicle is off. Do not uh, turn it over yet. Um, just start slowly filling it up. 
and um, it's gonna take about eight quarts and you're gonna start seeing that maybe it's already not sinking well enough so so you could stop right there you know put this transmission plug back and you don't have to put it back it's not it's not like it's gonna shoot the oil out of there um, it is really it just doesn't do that because you check you check your transmission fluid with the engine being on not being off so you'll actually need to um, when you get in there start your engine and uh, you know before you even start your engine okay before you even start your engine uh, and um, just start shifting through all the gears just twist your key forward um, and start shifting uh, shift you know like on first you know second third you know neutral drive and you know just shift through all of those then start your engine up and shift through every single one of them okay then come back and add whatever more fluid you need to add if you added like six quarts then you're gonna need to probably add another two two and a half quarts of oil um because you know it needs to kind of get down in there and the reason you're shifting is so that all the solenoids start pumping and the torque converter it's trying to get all its oil so then you're gonna have more space in the transmission to put more fluids in there and that's the way you do it i mean it's it's really simple i'm not trying to be um confusing but I will be making another video when I install the transmission torque converter. I'll be adding all the oil and stuff and you could see exactly like what I'm doing. Um, the reason I'm explaining this thing, even though it sounds like a common sense, but a lot of guys, they're scared of changing their own transmission fluid. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll take it to the dealer and have them do it and they're not cheap. I've asked the dealer how much they charge um, to actually uh, replace all the oil and uh, replace the conductor plate and uh they charge like 900 dollars. okay so <laughs> i would not want to spend that i much rather spend 150 dollars on a conductor plate and uh plus get you know the new oil filter for the transmission the seal the 13 pin connector and the conductor plate well conductor plate uh, is about 150 just put all those things on there yourself and uh get oil you know they do recommend you use um um 134a I mean uh, ATF uh, 134 um, but you could actually use shell Rotella um, I mean excuse me what, what am I talking about shell Rotella um, Valvoline Max Life okay Valvoline Max Life uh, transmission I'm gonna show you what it looks like okay guys this is the Max Life uh, Valvoline Max Life full synthetic ATF um, this is what I've been using this is exactly what I use in my transmission and my transmission, uh, you know, with me not being the first owner, I, I bought the van with 650,000 miles. I mean, it was in horrible shape. I mean, it really was. Um, so when I started using this type of oil, the transmission actually became alive again. I mean, before.